Hey, this is Pete from Peter's Feeders. I want to uh, introduce to you our new, newest product that we're going to be trying. It's called our Finch Feast. It's a special proprietary mix that I put together. You know, all the years I've been doing this, almost 40 years, we've not done this. We've had questions about it. We're going to make this available in five pound bags. So uh, if this is of interest, you can let us know. We will have it on both of our, our Etsy and our Peter's Feeders site. But it's got a special mixture. We use some canary seed. We use some uh, different uh, types of millet, red and white millet. We use uh, sunflower pieces so they don't have to shell the, the sunflower seeds. They're already in pieces and small enough to uh, come out of our feeders. And then thistle seed. And we, we mix uh, a bunch of it together at a, at a certain ratio. And we have found the birds are just crazy about it. Here's a downy woodpecker on our finch feeder. Um, and he, we never would get uh, Downey's eating thistle, but they love this this mixture. They love the uh, variety that it gives them. And he's got a long enough beak to get into that uh, seed port so that he can get to it. And, you know, anything that he drops goes on the ground. And we have a lot of ground feeders, juncos, and uh, um, even cardinals and, and the different birds that are on the ground eating any dropped seed. So it doesn't go to waste. But he, uh, he he loves that. And I'll give you some other examples as the video goes on here. Um, we've got a variety of them uh, all eating the seed. And where normally if we just put thistle seed in, that's what they're going to be uh, limited more to your goldfinches and some of those. This is our TO2 uh, finch feeder. And I have it full of our, what we, again, are calling our finch feast mix. So it looks really attractive in the feeder, and the way you fill it, you just lift the top up, and it rotates right out of the way, so you've got easy access, and when you push that back down, it totally seals the top, so you're not going to get any rain in there. It's got an attached tray, so any seeds that get dropped, they'll have birds on the tray. And then this is our TO1, and in this one, we have straight thistle seed. Same thing on this, the top lifts up, and it's a full eighth-inch thick uh material most of them are very flimsy and you can squeeze them i can't budge this feeder uh, so they're real durable real tough and they they are very attractive especially when they're full of bright yellow goldfinches so uh that's what we came up with this mixture for is, is our two different finch feeders but we're also using it in the window feeder here's a black cap chickadee and he's just loving this typically uh, black capped chickadee will come and grab a sunflower seed and then fly back in this, into a tree and holding that between his his uh, feet, he'll peck that seed open. So it's a lot of work for them to get just one little sunflower heart. Well, here he can just have a variety of, of seeds. And uh, there's a downy and, of course, a goldfinch. Uh, we get a lot of different birds. Uh, tufted tit mice, I think I've got some uh, video of one of those on the feeder. And this is our uh, window feeder, our, our WF-51 uh, is our model number. And I am literally two inches on the other side of the glass watching this. I've got my camera uh, kind of wide-angled so you can get a little view of the feeders behind us. And as you can see, there's goldfinches eating this very mix again in our finch feeder. Uh, and then to the right is our S-11 sunflower feeder. And, of course, that's always a big popular uh, seed to be giving uh, the birds and because it feeds the widest variety. Uh, and we're going to make that available too, if that's of interest. Uh, here's a goldfinch. And again, you'll see that he's just, um, just, you know, not really sorting through it too much. I mean, he's looking around and, and grabbing different seeds, but uh, he's eating a variety of them. And that's what we love about this is they're finally getting a good variety rather than just thistle. There's plenty of thistle seed in this. But the uh, sunflower hearts are, are very attractive, as is the millet. And and uh, so, yeah, it's fun. It's fun, again, to have this happening right in front of your face. And they can't see me. Normally, I'll do this in the morning. And it, it's still uh, the rest of the house. I don't open the curtains. And so it's still dark. And they literally can't see me. It's like they're looking at a mirror when they look at the window. So it's a, it's a lot of fun in the spring. We'll have uh, parents bringing their, their offspring to this window feeder, and right in front of us, they're feeding them. And, and it's uh, you learn a lot. Our kids learned a lot about the birds um, watching 
them up close like this, you know, seeing how they eat, seeing their difference, uh, the different colorings, and, and even different uh, birds between the same species. You can tell they they all have different characteristics, just like people. And this is interesting. I got a chickadee eating peanut butter while we were filming this, and uh, you know, chickadees come to this, downy woodpeckers, nut hatches. We get a lot of different birds, and in the winter, that'll freeze in there, and they peck out little pieces. And it's really highly uh, nutritious. Uh, peanut butter has got a lot of protein, unlike suet, which is just fat. Um, this this gives them a, a much better diet. And, of course, there's two of them working away, uh, loving the peanut butter. And that's our PB31 peanut butter feeder. So you just fill those cups up with peanut butter, and uh, you're going to get a variety of birds uh, feeding that. Here's our goldfinch. Here you can see that he's almost lost all of his yellow. Um, just patches of it now where in the summer that male would be completely bright yellow and I get a lot of people that come up and say well my goldfinches leave in the winter and, and they don't they just change color uh, they come they become a drab olive like you can see on his back but this bird is loving this he's he's able to get in there and, and work that seed out and um, again anything that he doesn't eat um, it goes down to the ground and we've got all kinds of ground feeders that are having a field day down below. I should have probably added that in. but And then here's a, again another uh, shot of the downy, which we never have had before. We've never had downies coming to our finch feeders. So this is really fun to have that happen. It just makes the feeder attract a bigger variety of birds. Because we'll get chickadees, we'll get downies, we'll get uh, purple finches, gold finches, house finches that all will eat thistle. But with this special mix that we do, it's it, they're even attracting you know a bigger variety. So if this is of interest, please let us know. I'm going to have this pasted on our Facebook, our Facebook, excuse me, and um, and it will be available on our websites. And uh, if if this is something that you want to do, we can do it to you monthly. We can do it to you as often as you want it. Set it up so that it's automatically shipped. Um, it would make it a little more convenient for you, and with everything that's going on. 